I think that it's similar to Barcelona. The, the, the difference is that they took this transition time for a, quite a long now, uh, because it's been a few years that um, they've not been able to, to win the title. I think that after Sir Alex Ferguson left, they lost a little bit uh, their focus and their guidance, and, and, and they didn't know where to go. It won't be! deep into added time at the end of the game. It is Manchester United 1, Fulham 2. I think Ten Hag uh, is a very good uh, coach. Uh, I don't know if he will be able to really turn things up, but uh, the, win, the, the win against Liverpool it was a, an incredible one. I think that it will give them that power that they need for the end of the season. And then uh, I would say that they have to trust more on the people that is coming from the academy. It happens when you are suffering. It happens in Barcelona. Uh, you need to trust on them. Uh, it happened also at that time with Sir Alex, with all the generation of 92. Um, and I think that they have to trust on them. They, the last few years, they, they spent a lot of money and it didn't work out. So why not try to really give this new young generation to, to at least try to, to, to perform. Well, Piquet has also had his say on the current Premier League title race and the former Barcelona defender who won 10 league titles during his club career, including one at Old Trafford. He thinks Manchester City's experience of winning trophies could give his former boss Pep Guardiola the edge. Right now, between Arsenal, Liverpool and City, I think it will be the title. Um, I don't know. Uh, if you uh, can choose who will win uh, because of the experience that uh, we had in the previous years, you would say City, because at the end of the day, they finished the, the seasons very well, winning all the games. But let's see, it's the last year of club, uh, so I think that Liverpool will do an extra effort to try to win it. And also Arsenal, so many years without winning the Premier League, so I think it will be fun. Uh, let's see what happens. You've been involved in many title run-ins, that's where we are now, the last 10 games or so. How did you approach that part of the season, the business end of the season? It's the one. It's uh, the one that I had more fun because you arrive to that moment where maybe you are a little bit tired of the whole season, but physically you are very good. You are fit. You are in the best moment of the of the year, and and all the games that you have are like finals. And and it's at the end of the day you are a football player for those games, um, and it's where I enjoyed most. Uh, so. Yeah, I would say that uh, it's where you have to train less uh, and it's where you have to play better.